Looking ahead, help is needed to make the Pueblo community Christmas dinner happen. Yeah, the nearly 40 year tradition has been in question after this year's Thanksgiving dinner was sidelined. Bill Folsom joins us in our Pueblo studio with more on the Christmas deadline and putting that dinner together. Bill. Yeah, the dinner is for everyone, but especially for people struggling with money or a place to call home. With the city's challenge of securing a shelter this year, there were also questions about the community Christmas dinner. It is on. Members of Steel City supporters, a grassroots group, found a new location and now need donations. We are back. Um, we're going to run with this one. An event living up to the name Community Christmas Dinner. The community really does make it happen, you know, just from food donations to volunteers. Um, this year is the second year that we're offering meal delivery. Questions of whether the decades old tradition would happen this year were answered with Steel City supporters putting out the official invite on its Facebook page this week. There is a new location off Highway 50. Location is always kind of difficult for us to figure out somebody to donate their venue. Um, this year Family Worship Center has actually just donated the use of their venue and also off their vans to run a shuttle service from downtown to get people to the dinner. Applebee's and the caterer at CSU Pueblo are on board with commercial kitchens for the cooking. What's needed in the two weeks between now and Christmas is some help from the community. We are looking for donations of canned goods, um, non-perishable items like cups, uh, plateware, silverware, um, instant mashed potatoes, gravy, um, that sort of stuff. And that's all on our Facebook pages. They also gather personal hygiene items for guests to take with them after dinner. The dinner is Christmas Day from noon until 2. Elizabeth? Bill, thanks.